How did you handle those oppositions? Uh, I was just taught to be better. You know, uh, my parents made it abundantly clear to me that I had to be uh, three plus times better than everybody else in yes. order to succeed. Um, just because I had to truly stand out. Um, my mom yeah. groomed me for leadership at a very young age, like second grade. She right. was having me to do, you know, take leadership roles and stuff like that. So I just forced myself to be better than everybody yeah. else. Um, so and when you're, when you're, uh, sounds so arrogant to say it, but this is the truth, right? Uh, when you have had the mindset for so long mm -hmm. to not necessarily beat or defeat everybody, but to, you know, do the work to actually yeah. show that you are, are willing to go that extra mile. Yeah. It worked out really well for me. I didn't have any opportunities held back from me because I, I, I've also understood the, the, you know, skip level edification. Like, so if my manager or my boss is not recognizing that, I develop a relationship with his boss or her boss. There you, you know go. I mean? Yeah. There you so go. there you go. So what do you th what do you think of um, or why do you think there are some people who would face certain oppositions in their lives, obstacles that are come across their lives, and um, they intend not to take that opposition and turn it into uh, turn it into something that they could use as opposed to they become victim of it and they don't overcome it. Why do you think those people don't overcome it? Uh, I have two, two answers for that. Uh, number one is an aversion to pain and rejection. And number two is um, uh, a, a fear of failure. Okay. So uh, a lot of pe people are adverse to things that are uncomfortable. Um, rejection, public speaking, things of that nature, right? Right. So if you haven't had the experience or the guidance and mentorship to know that you can get out there and you can try, fail, and then adjust, and it's okay to fail, to keep failing forward, you know, it's hard. You, uh, people are afraid to fail, and especially in public. Uh, you have a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We are going to fail at this. They literally have a term called struggle streaming, right? We're, okay. we're experiencing it today, you yeah. know, and, but you didn't panic or anything. You got back on your horse and you immediately did what you had to do. You did the work until you got it right. That's right. been my man mentality for, for a long time. And right. it's just, you know, and it, it's not that it's just from positive events and environments. It's from right. negative ones as well. Right. You know, I made and a I video about you... getting beat up in high school, you know, oh. <laughs> yeah, I made a video on there about uh, on my channel about getting beat up in high school and the valuable lesson. I, I failed in that instant, but I adjusted and adjusted. I haven't had to go through that again. So I really think that for people, it's it's that failure. You know, they're afraid to fail. They're afraid to subsequently be rejected and laughed at by the public. And, you know, right. uh, they, they don't want to take the shot. A lot of people are uh, paralyzed at taking the shot, actually shooting the ball. Yes. You know. So how, so, and I will also attribute to, you said a little bit, but I will also attribute you to your parents. You Absolutely. know, I know one, one of the videos you said your dad, his name, your family name still rings, you know, it does. and, um, you know, uh, your, how you said that your mom always told you that you had to be the best, you know, yeah. you have to work 10 times harder and, so it, that's great that you're able to say that those things helped propel you to be able to look at obstacles as a way for you to make yourself better, not for you to become victim of it, because we're all going to be victim of something. We're all going to be have a victim mentality of something. Right. But it's the difference is, are we going to let that be our life? Right. Are we going to let that be our life? Right. Um, so that's great that you attest to that, you know, it comes from your, your, um, upbringing. 